Fighting out of the blue corner, weighing in under 71 kgs. Fighting out of Joy Sua, who's sending Jack Kelly! And the fall making his way to the cage, fighting out of the red corner. This man also weighing in under 71 kgs. K1 bouts. This is a pro bout. Three three minute rounds between Jack Kelly and Sasha Slivlicka. Slivlicka out of full power MMA and Jack Kelly out of Jiao Sua and Bray under the tutelage of Rob Kearney. Sasha actually made his cage legacy debut fighting as a last minute replacement when he stepped in to fight Marcin Zambala who's actually in the next fight. The co-main this evening. No easy task taking the last minute fight against Marcin. And here we go, we're on the way. Touch of gloves. Kelly was very impressive the last time I seen him out at a uh, cage ring championships. Good nice body, body kick. kick by Sasha to the right side. And Kelly just trying to respond. And Sasha throwing heavy hands there, looking for the big counter. Nice switch kick by Kelly. Not a good idea. Larburn has got himself an awkward job to do here. Oh, so you want to be a referee, folks? Excellent work, Larburn. Excellent work. It's not the first time Larburn has had to do this, I think. He's actually calling. He needs help. The things you have to endure as a referee, Keith. The odd time you got to pick up a gum shield. This time you got to cup a man. Not too sure if there's a break of the grind guard, so the action won't have to continue straight away. I think Larry just needs a more willing hand. No fun intention with the willing in there, but... So make it sure, as you can see, cool, calm and collective, nothing phases him. This can mess with you mentally as well. Having yeah, to, that's having to leave the cage after you've already got into fight mode, you're you're already in that mode where we're locked in, time to go, and then you have to leave the cage. This actually happened to me and my one and only K1 bit. And Sasha's got a, a tough job. He's got to stay there as well. So he's sitting waiting, and this is a weird situation. You can hear the weird atmosphere as well, but a hiccup, you could say in the fight game apologies if you're picking up bad language of somebody in the background just yeah this is a weird one filling air time for a man whose grind guard popped out the referee tried to put it back in obviously not used to putting protection on <laughs> terrible jokes being made here but Again, now this, this is um, it's a weird one. It's not just there. You can say Kelly's running backstage, obviously looking to. Uh, again, I don't know if there's a different guard or something that he can get, or if he has a spare with him. But again, Sasha just seems to be standing still. So, in this, as a fighter, you'd want to keep active, keep moving around. Smiling for a picture Kelly, there. Somebody taking Kelly a picture. Might be wasting cardio, just running up and down stairs, just trying to find a cup. So if you are watching Fight Store Media, it's, um, you're probably looking at what's going on. Um, there was a bit of an exchange and Jack Kelly's cup popped out. The referee tried to fix it and the DJ has decided that it's party time. And Jack Kelly's back in the cage now, so there's a lesson for your kids. Always bring a spare coin guard. Time in, DJ, kill the music. And again, we're just waiting on the DJ. There we go. And Larbron gets us back on the way. If you're just joining us, there was a little break in the action as Jack Kelly's cup just came out. So obviously, a prize asset has to be protected. So we had to go backstage to get the spare cup. And be interesting now to see both fighters. Sasha had to stay in the cage, Keith, and 
Even the referee encouraged them to stay warm. But it doesn't seem to be affecting either fighter. They've, they've picked up where they left off. And Kelly Trong, heavy shots. And as oh, Sasha's taking them to the forearms. You won't want to take too many of them. They're getting a baseball back cracked across your forearms. Yeah, it doesn't feel good. He's swinging wildly. He's sort of sitting down, almost closing the eyes and swinging that overhand right. And Sasha. And good work by Kelly going to the body. But that is a fastball overhand by Sasha. If that lands... He was throwing a similar punch against Marcin Zambella the last he time. Whenever he got back against the cage, he was throwing a very similar overhand. Just touched Shin with that leg kick there. And again, Blocked. on the forearm, but they all had up. And that right hand just landed that time on Kelly's Shin. Nice head movement by Sasha and just missed that kick. Lost balance. Kelly did just get caught there. So she's just starting to walk forward a little bit more. And just as I say, that Kelly pressures him up against the cage. And some good shots. Sasha was just ducking down, allowing Kelly to throw that knee. And he, Sasha just gets caught with a left. And a good knee to the body by Kelly. Starting to pick it up. Working heavy, heavy Beautiful shot to the body. body. By Kelly. But Sasha comes back with a big overhand right himself. Big exchange. Both fighters landed. And Sasha lands a big right as well. But Kelly is taking it. Kelly's doing a good job of making Sasha thinking about the body than the head. Yeah. Beautiful Again. digging shots to the body by Jack body Kelly. Shots followed by some shot to the head. He's just digging that body shot, that left hook to the body beautifully. But Sasha is taking it and coming back here with big powerful counters himself. But you can see Sasha's starting to hold his elbows even lower now, so he's worried about those body shots which is opening up his head. There's your 10 second clapper. And Sasha's just trying to finish round strong big body shot but Kelly just again landing a big right hand there's time good round for Kelly excellent round considering what happened leading up to that excellent round and come back to the cage by Jack Kelly referee Labar just waiting on the cage door to be closed excellent opening round by Jack Kelly but he's got to be wary them big shots coming back from Sasha Keith he certainly holds power in them hands Kelly got caught with a couple of them but wore them well And again, Kelly, this is where he's normally ripping to the body. He goes with the uppercut in the knee this time. Just lost balance as he was throwing that knee. Good work just to push Sasha away with a teeth, just to allow him to get us back off the cage. And again, there are the big shots. It's where Sasha almost bites down on the gum shield and just wings big hooks. There's a lot of power in them. It only takes one of them to end the night for Jack Kelly. Kelly walking forward, landing good shots, though. Nice stiff jab, Brox. That's Sasha so back Sasha. a little. That was a nice stiff jab by Jack Kelly. Excellent work. And there's that big, you can just see it. He just throws the momentum. He uses the momentum of the left hook to come back with a crazy right hook. And if that lands. But again, he went through the full rounds with Marston Zambella and it didn't land for him. So I'm sure Jack Kelly has watched that fight back. Excellent knees by Kelly up against the cage as well. And again, them body shots. Nice left knee to the body. I'm not sure if that hit the arm or if I hit the body of Sasha. And you can see the difference here a little bit, Keith. Sasha's head hunting and he just lands that right hook yeah. just as I say it. He's head hunting while Jack Kelly is mixing up his shots. He's going from body to head, body to head. There's blood on the body there, so there's a cut on the head. Of Sasha, not too sure where that came from. Only being a clash of your hands, I'm not too sure. Kelly's prepared for the three rounds. Sasha looks to be trying to end it a bit early with those, like you said, the head hunting. There's a lot of blood flowing from Sasha's head. And again, I think there could be just a cut as well under the left eye of Jack Kelly. So it's definitely, I think it's a, it's a clash of heads. I think Kelly just has a trickle of blood coming from that left eye. Larbon gives the count here. Larbourne just calling for the doctor, just to have a look at this. Kelly as well, just pawing in his left eye. Be, be wise just to leave it alone. He might aggravate it by pushing the glove at it. Uh, referee just calling the doctors. Doctors having a quick look. We're not allowed to treat the cut. 
I'm not too sure why the cut man was called in. We cannot treat the cut during the round. The referee just cleaning off just to have a look at the severity of the cut. They say the admin work is the hardest part. I think that's what the cut man's doing. Lee Bowes, of course, one of the top cut men in the country in Europe. Doctor, is this holding the, holding the tissue on it? Larry Bourne just asking the doctor, what's the decision here? Not allowed to treat it. Larry saying not allowed to treat it. DJ incorrectly playing music. The round's not over. We're back on their way. The DJ still playing. Of course, it's worth noting, Keith, that Conor McGregor is in attendance, so I'd say Conor was enjoying that. And now you might think that Sasha feels with the cut. He needs to step it up, maybe go. He has a target as well, and the, the left eye of Kelly is, is a slight cut as well. But she just hit with that right overhand. I think he just connected. I'm really impressed by Kelly's bodywork as well. This is. Kelly's Excellent work, really game. mixing it up. And Sasha really... You can see, he. I think he thinks he needs to get a finish. Jack Kelly spins, but just misses. Big body shots again, but Jack Kelly, excellent work, but Sasha stays there and wants it. Intelligent work by Kelly, just doing really good with his shot selection whenever he does get Sasha back. One defense. thing he won't do, Keith, is question the fight in no, Sasha. Sasha definitely not. Just waiting on the cage door. Larbron gets us in the way for the third and final round. And Kelly, he's really been selecting his tools beautifully throughout this one. You could say Sasha's head hunting just a little, but Kelly's really mixing it up with the body shots to the head and digging into that liver as well. But Sasha pushing forward again. Kelly's doing a great job, Keith, of when he gets put up against the cage, of using a teep or just getting out of there, creating the angles. Big right hand by Kelly! Nice left kick to the body. You gotta give it Sasha. What does it take to put this man down? A little bit of a stumble there by Jack Kelly. I do think it was just a stumble off balance. And again, Larborn just calling time and Not to just clean it up, there's a wet, that's what it was, that's what Jack Kelly slipped on. Good spot by the referee, Larpore, one of the best in the business. And back on their way. One thing about Jack Kelly is it, it must be, not demoralized is probably the wrong word, Keith, but they hit someone with all their best shots and to see them still there thrown back at you. Catches him with a hook that time though, and again Kelly landing big combinations here, working to the body, big knee, landing at will, shots here, the towel comes in from the corner. That was a beautiful performance by Kelly. Unbelievable flurry up against the cage, excellent work by Jack Kelly. Just stands in front, gets on top of the cage in front of his fans, but Sasha just showed heart in his corner and fair play to him. an excellent stoppage by his corner looking out for their fighter's safety but Jack Kelly with an incredible performance tonight here on Cage Legacy 7 Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mr. Larry Burn has called a stop to the action in one minute and one second of round number three for your winner, the